Oh, this is just perfect. Chemistry Kitty Strikes Again. Iron Man. Oh, you mean female. Think about it. Think about it. Iron. Chemical symbol F-E. Man. Male. Female. Now you get it. All right. Today we're starting to state the sources of iron. This is part of the chemistry and industry option. So why do we care about iron? Well, iron is basically um, the foundation or the main component of steel. And steel is what we use to build our buildings, cars, etc. So it really is at the heart of what we've been building in modern civilization. So we're going to talk about A, where does it come from? So here I have four sources. The two highlighted in red are the main sources. Hematite, magnetite, geothite, and limonite. Those all end in ITE, which indicates they are something we call an ore. Now an ore basically means that it is a mixture of different metals and other materials um, and you want to extract one of the materials out of there, in this case iron. You want to extract iron from its ore and then you can actually make some money off of that. So let's just quickly visualize these. So hematite, let's go over to Coolris. Hematite looks like this. This is why Mars is red. Uh, magnetite looks like that. Geothite and limonite. So those are the main sources of iron. And we just want to have a last little note here that there is a main impurity inside iron. Quite often you find silica or silicon dioxide. And so what that basically means is you usually have a layer of the um, iron ore um, and then there will be a layer of the silica and then another layer of the iron and then silica and you want to ultimately extract that, separate that apart. And we'll be taking a look at how that works later on.